Hello, I'm Dr. Lenny Glickman of Total Urology Care of New York, and this is Total Urology Care on my personal MD. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen. It is a protein that is produced by the prostate and plays an essential role in allowing semen to facilitate sperm's transport through the female reproductive tract. PSA has been in the news a great deal lately, specifically as it relates to its role in screening for prostate cancer. PSA blood tests measure the level of PSA in the bloodstream. In general, a high PSA level can be suggestive of prostate cancer. Cancer cells in the prostate are more active than normal prostate cells and therefore produce abnormally high levels of PSA. Unfortunately, PSA is not very specific for the presence of prostate cancer. It can be elevated for a number of different reasons, including benign enlargement of the prostate, also known as BPH, prostate infection, recent manipulation of the prostate, including a recent prostate exam, and even recent ejaculation. There are newer urine and blood-based tests that are being developed that will hopefully be more specific for prostate cancer. However, currently, PSA is the best test we have. There are numerous recommendations from various medical societies about PSA screening for prostate cancer. It is recommended that men who have a higher risk of developing prostate cancer, either because they have a family history of prostate cancer or because they are of African descent, should start screening with PSA blood tests and rectal exams at age 40 to 45. Screening should begin between the ages of 50 to 55 in men who have an average risk of developing prostate cancer. Typically, a primary care physician will include prostate cancer screening as part of an annual physical. If the primary care doctor has any questions about the screening test results, a urologist will usually be consulted. A urologist is a physician that is an expert in the management of both benign and malignant prostate diseases. Therefore, urologists are best suited to guide a patient through the complexities of interpreting PSA blood test results and the numerous screening guidelines that may potentially be confusing and anxiety provoking. To learn more, subscribe to My Personal MD Now and be sure to check back for new videos each week.